you should have changed the text view into a list view element. Then you can remove this text attribute because we don't need it anymore. Now from the UX mocks, you'll remember that the list takes up the whole screen. So we want to set the width and height to be match parent. That will make the list view match the dimensions of its parent, which is this relative layout. And to find out the parent of this relative layout, it's actually in this activity main XML file because the fragment is contained within the activity. Within this file, we see that um, this view is also match parent for height and width. So now we can confirm that the list view actually will take up the full screen. Going back to the fragment main file, we can add the ID list view forecast onto the list view. And then since this layout only contains one child, we can simplify the layout by changing this into a frame layout.